All right, let's finish up our face off with our browser comparison. Both handsets are running off the same Wi Fi network. Both of them have their displays turned up as bright as they will go. And the cache and history have been cleared on both of them before we began. Real quick, just give you a quick look at settings on both of them. These are the settings that are available on the Internet Explorer. These are the settings that are available on the My Touch 4G. Just want to give you a quick look at that. Obviously, there's a lot more available for customization on the uh, and options on the My Touch 4G. All right, enough of that. Let's get in and go somewhere. Let's go to smartphonemv.com to start, and they're off. Get okay, a My 4 My Touch 4G offers Android Flash 10.1. And they're both up. Oh, My Touch 4G is finished. And we're waiting on the HD7. The HD7 is finished. First thing you notice on the HD7, I had a hard time loading uh, the widget up at the top of my home page. The text for it is down here. I think eventually we'll get the pictures loaded as well. As far as scrolling, it's extremely smooth. It's smoother than iPhone 4 but you can see it has on a graphic intense page it definitely has a problem keeping it loaded instead of checkerboards you get a, a white spot or a white space there we go that's a little better and again oh, again you can multi double tap to zoom in offers multi-touch pinch to zoom you can see it definitely has some issues in keeping the text loaded on the My Touch 4G. Again, it's quite smooth. Not quite as smooth as the uh, HD 7, though. Again, you can multi touch, double tap. It rewraps the text to fit the display when you multi touch or pinch to zoom, which is also very nice. All right, let's head over to uh, GSM Arena. And we're off. And they look like they're about neck and neck. My Touch 4G is done. And the HT, HD7 is done. My Touch 4G is done. HD7 is done. I think I might have called the My Touch a little early, but uh, My Touch was there quicker. My Touch definitely seems to load web pages faster. Let's go over to uh, Engadget and give it a real test. There was Engadget. It was right in front of me. No wonder I couldn't find it. Neck and neck. My Touch 4G is done. Waiting on the HD7. Looks like it's getting close. There we go. They're both loaded. And the biggest issue with the HD7, aside from it's a little bit slow loading, also missed the ad up at the top completely. Um, it's filling in the text. But it seems to have, see, run into a lot of white. Don't have that issue at all on the uh, My Touch 4G. But the My Touch 4G isn't quite as smooth in scrolling, but I think right now uh, it's a better browsing experience. Offers a little bit more flexibility. So anyway, there's a look at the browsers on both the uh, HD7 and the MyTouch 4G. I will have all of the pictures taken, posted on the uh, with a written review over at SmartphoneMe.com, so make sure you stop by and take a look at that. Also want to thank all of you for subscribing, for watching, and for your comments, for most of your comments anyway. And I hope that's been helpful. Take care.